Hello, fifth grade. This morning I met with several of you to discuss why you needed to have a box this week. You will be completing a project that I've named the Corona Capsule. And what it is, is it's a time capsule. It's a memory box. You will need to find yourself a box that is about the size of a shoe box. It could be cardboard, it could be plastic, a hard plastic, or you can make it out of wood, or if you have a wooden box around. Let me show you some examples. Here I have my son's puzzle box. You need to make sure that it has a lid so that as we will be closing this up. You could use a traditional shoe box, which many of you probably already have. Again, please make sure you have a top to it. Cardboard box, not too big. And please keep the flaps on. We will be closing it. Please do not cut them off or rip them off. I have sent you an email and posted on Google Classroom this project and its requirements. Please make sure that you read through them. And if you have any questions, please make sure that you send them to me. I will try and answer them as quickly as I can. I will also post the questions at the bottom of the document with the responses. What you will have to do is you will be taking your box. You will need a ruler. And if you don't have a ruler, you might have a tape measure at home. You can ask mom and dad to help you if you'd like. You will need to measure the length, the width, and the height of the box. We will be calculating volume, area, surface area. We will also be talking about the characteristics of a rectangular prism. Please do not alter this box after you have taken your measurements. It, remember, it must have a top. I will be posting questions on a weekly basis that you will need to answer. Please make sure that you either have your math notebook or you have a sheet of paper where you can record your results in your work. Remember, I don't just ask for answers. I need you to prove how you get to your solution. So please make sure that you're showing your work. By the end of this project, you will be decorating it and filling it with things that you have done during this time that we were unable to be together at school. You could fill it with pictures. You could fill it with crafts you made. You could fill it with something that means something positive to you while we're dealing with this virus. My hope that one day, maybe it's days, weeks, months, or years from now, you might open this box and remember the good time that you had while you were away from school or you were unable to be with your friends face to face. If you have any questions about what this project might be about, I strongly encourage you to reach out and email me with those questions. This is also part of your marking period three grade. Failure to complete the questions that I ask for will result in you having an incomplete for this project. I hope that you have fun with this and I can't wait to see what you do with it.